What's up, Dame Gang? It's your boy Dame Dash, and we're back with another video for y'all. Hey, y'all, did you miss me? I hope so. I miss you guys so much. Today, we have my cousin Deshaun here. Hi. Y'all, Deshaun is from Detroit, but she moved to Dallas. Yes. And she's been craving Coney Island. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Okay. And I, I told you guys that we were going to do it. And here it is. So, tell them what we got, Dede. Okay. So, we have a grilled chicken pita here. We have chili cheese fries. This one has sliced cheese. Damon's has squeezed cheese. Um, corned beef sandwiches, Coney dogs in the front, Verner's, we have Fago over there, the red pop I feel like is the most popular kind, Yes. Wingdings over there, and Better Made Chips, all Detroit favorites. That's right, you gotta come and get these when you come here. Now, these are the wings that I was telling y'all about that um, Taco Bell had, and they look just like them, and I was uh, telling y'all that Coney Island has these wings. These are the same wings. I'm going to put a little clip of that video in here so you can see. But they're the same. And I couldn't do a comparison video because I think Taco Bell are done. All their wings are gone. So, But this is the same wing. Same wing. And he literally texted me right after he tried the wing. Like, mm -hmm. these are Coney Island wings. Go get you some. And I was like, um, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> I am not about to go get my wings from Taco Bell. I need the real thing. So, <laughs> I am so ready to eat. Oh, it's what's up now. I already took after a bite. After you already started eating. I already took a bite. I'm hungry, y'all. Y'all know I ate yet. I'm about to. What you going to hold? Um, my rings? Okay. Oh, maybe I'll hold the cup because that wing looks small. I hope ain't no chicken on my tongue. <laughs> I want to know if there's any forks in that bag because if not, we don't have nothing to eat with. Nope. I hate them. Oh, Ooh, just a second. While he's doing that, I'm going to start eating. Now, in Michigan, I will tell you guys, Verner's is considered a drink and a medicine. So, if you are sick, drink Verner's. So, I was sick a few weeks back. That's why I am definitely having a Verner's today. I was telling them how here, Verner's is a drink and medicine. Oh, yeah. That and, well, ginger ale too, but... But this is our yeah D Detroit, Detroit made. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm hungry. I don't know what to eat. Um, my fries and my hot dog. I'm going to do my only dog. Oh, my God, y'all. Let me see. Let me raise this up just a little. Can y'all see in this stuff? Now, on this Coney dog. Oh, we got all this from El George's Coney Island. It's uh, chili, mustard, and onions. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. I have a head. I'll show you that in Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. People always ask where to go. How many in there for? For Coney Island? Like, like, which one to go to? Or, like, where to eat? Where to eat at when you come to Detroit, right? Mm -hmm. you got to hit up Coney Island. And I would say the Culture Cafe. You've been to the Culture before, right? No? I haven't been there. Because I feel like you started going there or it became popular after I moved. Yeah. Mm. 
And Coney Island has breakfast too. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can get it any time of the day. I almost went this morning to get pancakes. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can get Coney Island. Anything on the menu. And before the pandemic, a lot of Coney Island used to be 24 hours. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it used to be my treat once a week. When I worked in the schools, <laughs> I would go and get um, a salad. Coney Island has really good salads. And the most delicious pita bread mm -hmm. on the side. So I would get like... Um, a grilled chicken Greek salad, mm -hmm. extra feta, pita bread, so good. I feel like that's the only thing we miss it. The salad. Is the salad. Mm -hmm. I should have ordered the salad too. I don't know. Who that water hit the spot? But yes, y'all. Coney Island is a restaurant for the people who's in New York. <laughs> they be like, uh, you talking about the amusement park? <clears throat> you talking about Coney Island amusement park? No, no, no. No, no. We talking about restaurant. And they got those same wings. Mm -hmm. Let me get one. I was getting my hair done here. In the city, and this lady, she was out of from out of town, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Oh, I heard y'all got Cody Allen's here. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun." And whoever she was with, mm -hmm. they were like, "What are you so hype about? Like mm -hmm. it's a rest. <laughs> it's a restaurant." <laughs> she was thinking like Coney Island, New York, with the mm -hmm. amusement park, the rides, and all of that. So all of us Detroiters just laughing like. Girl, it is chili cheese, mm. fries, and hot dogs. Like, she must have been real hungry. She must have been so hungry. What do you want to do? What do you to do? I think I only had Coney Island on my channel one time. Really? What one other have? time. Wingdings? I don't even remember. Mm. Now I got to have ketchup on my chili cheese fries. Got to. Mm -mm. Look at the ketchup. And Get we up. also have to talk about the debate. Between sliced cheese and squeezed cheese. Oh, right. Because this one was sliced and one was squeezed. Yes, I have sliced on mine. He has to squeeze. Mm -hmm. But honestly, squeezed is better. Squeezed is better because there's more cheese. It is. They only, I feel like they only put like one slice on the on the fries with the sliced cheese. And they put it, well, some of them different. Like, they put the fries down there, put a little bit of chili, put the cheese, they put more chili on top. Mm-hmm. And then some people just put the cheese on top after they put all the chili. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this looks like fries laid down, slice of cheese, and chili on top. Mm-hmm. I like them both ways. It don't really matter to me. Mm-hmm. But it's good when it's squeezed because it's cheese. You get that like, cheese in every bite. Everywhere. Every bite. Ooh, man. El George's to me is the best Coney Island. That's a debate. Everybody have their own preference. Mm. I don't have a favorite because there's so many Coney Islands. Mm -hmm. They're literally on every corner, like a liquor store. Yes. Um, for me, I go to the ones that I know. I'm not just gonna pull up on Six Mile and go to any. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never been there. I'm not. I'm not eating there. But from, you know, the neighborhood where you used to live, where mm -hmm. I used to live, or like one of the main ones that has a franchise everywhere, you know, those are the safe ones. to eat. Yeah. Even here, like Coney Islands, they like diners. Oh, excuse me. So some of them, they have them like diner style where you can get like, what would they have at a diner? Like they have pork chopped steak and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't get no steak from the Coney mm -hmm. Island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just um, <clears throat> in the car with my friend from Chicago. She's mm. here visiting this weekend, too. Oh, she is? Mm -hmm. And she was like, Galaxy Coney Island? I've never heard of that. I know where it's at. Where? I think it's on um, Grand River and Yes! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she was like, 
Y'all have so many Coney Islands. I was like, mm -hmm. girl, yes, there are so many Coney Islands. I like the one, um, what was that? Livernoy <clears throat> in Grand River, Royal Grill. Yes, we yeah. Used to go to. Mm -hmm. They had good corned beef. They had corned beef egg rolls at Coney Island, too. Mm -hmm. I like the one on Wyoming and Grand River, Hollywood. Okay. I used to go there when I got off work. Mm -hmm. It was a lot. It was a lot of Coney Island, y'all. Mm -hmm. The ones downtown, I think they only have the original the dogs. Mm -hmm. Yes, the dogs, the Coney dogs, and the fries. Yep. And they maybe, the, maybe Wingdings. They're the original. I don't even think they got Wingdings there. They might not. I don't think so. <clears throat> Look at that corn beef. Oh, y'all know I go to Lose Deli for my corned beef, but. So, y'all note the difference between a Coney Island corned beef versus a deli corned beef? How thick that sandwich is from the deli? Mm hmm. This is like a little more shaved. It's thinner. They're not going to give you as much meat, but it's still really good. Mm hmm. And the way they do this is they just grab a bunch of meat, put it in the pan with a little water. Mm. They cook it a little. Mm. This is the perfect meal or the perfect place after you've been drinking. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Detroit one. Mm-hmm. On um, Woodward. That mm -hmm. one. Mm. 24 hours. That's literally like the only place that's open late night. You gotta be careful. Downtown Detroit. That, that Coney Island has security. Mm -hmm. Armed security. Well, actually, they're probably police officers for real. With bulletproof vests on. Everything, but that's a good comment. Everybody go there at the club. Like, if it's a concert, anything, you meet up at Detroit One. Yeah. And get you something to eat. Yes, but don't park on the train tracks. No. I mean, I don't know. Just order your food and go back to your car. I ain't in there before. A couple nah. times. We have too, but I'm just saying, if you visit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you visit him. <laughs> this was my auntie's favorite pop. Listen, if you visit him, <laughs> you know, just grab your food and go. <laughs> Don't scare people. Detroit is not that scary. I feel like, damn. <laughs> Woo, shit. <excuse> me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ooh. I feel like it's like that to us because we live here. Mm -hmm. But you go. <clears throat> Even I'll be anywhere. like, ooh, child, a ghetto. Oh, yeah. There's a ghetto in any big city. Mm -hmm. And you got to be careful going anywhere you go. But certain places you shouldn't play around in. Right. Like, yeah. the, like the east side. The east side. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play around in Detroit. Oh, my God. That's a big debate, too, y'all. <laughs> the east side of Detroit versus the west side of Detroit. Mm -hmm. Everybody from the west side swear that the east side is so ghetto. Yes. And, and vice versa. versa. <laughs> Why? When I went apartment hunting in Dallas... Mm -hmm. I was at a place, and the lady was like, oh, where were you, Where are you from? And I was like, I'm from Detroit. And she was like, oh, my God, I heard there's a war, the east side versus the <laughs> west side. I was like, girl, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> that is just a little rivalry. There is no war. <laughs> a war? Really? That's a bit much. Mm-hmm. But... Mm -hmm. Our family is from the west side, of course. Yeah, we are from the west side. Now, the thing is about the east side that people don't understand, like, just how we got suburbs and nice areas and stuff. The east side got the same. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know a lot of them, but I know Rosedale Park. Not Rosedale Park. What's that? Gross Point. Gross Point. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't name nothing else. Shit. Is that the only one? Gross Isle. There's a whole bunch of them over there. And it's real nice. Nice communities and stuff. I do not be going to the east side. You want to know something? Mm -hmm. I remember back in the day they used to do the um, the tours of Fago and Buttermaid. Oh. Um, I've never been. In the factory? Yeah. In high school, I did a report for like <clears throat> social studies class on Fago, mm -hmm. and I just drove on Grashy, took pictures outside the factory, and left. That was it. I've never been to none of the little plants and stuff. Me neither. People, you know, I want to be an out of towner. An out of towner. 
And just do stuff you haven't done before. Yeah, because people never do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Like, when you go out of town, I want to experiment everything. I want to go experience this. I want to experience that. I want to experience different things. I want to experiment. In town, I don't go nowhere. At home, I don't want to go down there. What are they doing down there? Everything is just like, blah. Blah. Have you been to Motown, the museum? Nope. I just went to Motown. <laughs> That's what I'm ago. saying. And people come here, as soon as they come here, they go there. You know go what I'm saying? to the Motown Museum, yeah. I'm sure it's like that from every, like everybody who, from their city, don't really do everything in their city. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's just me. I need to get out of that, though. Just go, try something new. Yeah, before I move. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm ready to jet. I'm recruiting Damon mm-hmm. to come to Texas, Dallas, or Houston. I don't care. <laughs> and me and Jazz just got off the phone when I was in the car. And I was uh, like, we need Damon to move to Houston so we can have something to go. <laughs> we can spend the night at his house. Yeah, I'm ready. They got they toast. They just put it on the grill with some butter. That's it. And it just be the simplest thing. Mm-hmm. All you missing is hot sauce. Did you get any hot sauce? No, it's something in the cabinet, though. Uh, hot know. sauce and ranch for the landing. Yep. And we got the ranch back here. Ooh. Yeah, but these are the exact wings. And you can get these wings from GFS. Gordon's. Look at that. Remember how they wings look? They had tails and shit hanging off of it. Ooh. Same thing. Ooh, People were doing reviews from the Taco oh, Bell. Like, what <laughs> is that piece hanging on? <laughs> it's just um, the skin. I'm convinced those wings were baby chicks. What? That, They're so small. I like small wings, though. I like whole wings. Whole wings? And yes. I like small whole wings. I like whole... No, they don't have to be super big, but I like whole wings. And I hate at, like, restaurants, brunch places, mm. when they have chicken and waffles, and it be chicken strips. Do yeah, I don't like that. There be no chicken strips. I want whole wings. Mm-hmm. I feel like it got more flavor in a chicken, like a, pig, a wing or something. Mm-hmm. A strip, it be dry. Yeah, because it's... Breast meat. Damn, I am, I'm kind of full already. Are you? You gotta taste the pita though. The pita. The chicken pita. I'll taste a piece of chicken. Take a piece of chicken. It's a big piece. That is a big piece. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It ain't the best. The best... Phil George's, I think, is on Sixth Mile and Schaefer. Sixth Mile and Schaefer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They really, really marinate their chicken. I mean, it'd be flavorful. Six Mile and Schaefer. In the hood. Right across from Side Race Hospital. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Were you born at Side uh-uh. I was born at Hudson. Um, Hudson? Hudson. Okay. I think. Yeah, Hudson. Isn't it on your birth certificate? Mm, well, Hudson is money. Good question. I think so. I think it is. I need to double check. I'm sure. Because I know I was born at Sana. Okay. I hope. I pray. <laughs> I was. You was? I hate <laughs> the hospital. <laughs> I ain't been back since. <laughs> <laughs> Man, my leg gonna be about to fall off. Don't take me there. <laughs> Henry Ford, please. Man. Anywhere but there. Take me to Beaumont. Beaumont. Oh, shoot. That's my hospital anyway. My sure is taking me there. Yeah. Well, that's the main one I go to, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but any little Beaumont. Any location. But anything I need to get done, like big, I gotta go to Royal Oak. Oh. <clears throat> so that's the main one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Dang, that's the thing when you don't, you still eating. Because when else am I gonna be able to eat this? Exactly. <laughs> oh. 
I ain't no Coney Island. Well, it's Coney Islands out here by me, but it's just like, I don't know. You got to go to the hood. The hood got the best. I've been trying to tell them. You can't eat at Coney Island in the suburbs. Like that. You got to go to the hood. <laughs> the hood got the best food. Even though they got messed up attitudes. The customer service is horrible, but the food is good. You know how people be like, would you do bad customer service and really, really good food? Or really, really good customer service and bad food? Mm. Like if it was a restaurant like that. Mm-hmm. Like, which one would you do? I feel like customer service is everything. It is, but if your food nasty and you got great customer service, what's the point? Yeah, no, nah, not nasty food, but like mediocre. Like, yeah. Call me a bitch. Bring me out that biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Go on me what you want, bring me the food, because we can tussle all day. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, that, reminds, <laughs> that reminds me of that post talking about, I think somebody said something like Chick-fil-A was racist, or they, or they were supporting Donald Trump, uh-huh. and then I saw memes talking about, you got to call me the N-word at Chick-fil-A, and I'm still going to eat it. <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> I like Chick-fil-A. <clears throat> Me too, because when they was talking about it, I was like, oh, I'm just not going to film the mukbang. Because it was like a big deal. But I was like, I'm just not going to film the video. But I'm still going to sure. give me a little nugget. Mm-hmm. A little salad. Man, they got the best. I don't know. It's just good. It's different. I think that's what it is. Because, you know, it just it started coming up here. Mm-hmm. Not so long ago. They've yeah. been in the South. Mm-hmm. Some people say it's bland. What? I like Chick-fil-A chicken. Mm. I literally just saw that on Facebook this week. Bland talking about, and they said Canes is bland. I hear that a lot. Have you? you I love Canes. Canes. I, I do not like Zaxby's. You and me are the same. Now you gonna get so many comments mm-hmm. because people love Zaxby's. I love Canes. Me too. I love Canes. I love Canes. Remind sauce. me of like chicken at home, like fried chicken. Like you just you know made you some tenders real quick. Yes, the sandwich, the Texas toast. They could do better with the coleslaw. Yeah, but I love the tenders, and I love every time it's always fresh. Always, always fresh. Yes. One time they messed with my order and like accidentally gave me strips instead of a sandwich. And I called them. <laughs> they were like, okay, well, we'll fix it. And I was like, but I'm not driving back up there. So they, um, like, wrote my name down or something. And mm-hmm. I went up there and just cashed in on a chicken sandwich one day. That's good customer service. Mm-hmm. That's what tastes like KFC to me. But everybody hypes it up so much. Yeah. Like the 35 spices type shit. I don't want that. I don't like Zaxby's. So. They have, um... Fried Ooh. mushrooms. I Damn, I'm saying that, and they offered me a deal one day. <gasps> uh, I guess I missed the deadline, though, so I still don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. First of all, and then it wasn't the Zaxby's around here. I was going to have to fly. There to, is no Zaxby's. Right. I was going to have to fly to a place that had one just to do it. Oh, no. Well, were they going to pay you? Yeah, I was going to okay. do it anyway. <laughs> so. That check was looking good. Yeah. Jazz like Saxby's. They have salads and stuff there too. Canes is the place I for like me. Canes. I'm gonna go drink them over there. Pit. Oh my god, y'all. This is really, really good. I oh, so I didn't post yesterday because we um ended up going to my cousin Ebony house and we had like game night karaoke and I didn't have a video pre recorded, so and because they shot was into town, we was just we was just having a good time. We had so much fun yesterday. Yes. Some of it's gonna be on the vlog. A lot of it. Ooh, excuse me. They didn't want me to film. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be out on what's today? Saturday. Oh, Saturday. tomorrow's Saturday. vlog. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow's vlog. It'll be something there. Dang, I ain't got no other footage. No other footage. I ain't did know. nothing. I sat I sat in the bed all day. I was just watching TV and chilling. Sometimes you just need to, because I got to prepare for Monday. What's Monday? <sighs> Busy Monday, week. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh no, you don't want no more chicken. You, you need to take all this. Do I? No. You no, can I take food. You know you can take food on the uh, airplane. Yeah. Like I took like can, a whole sweet potato pie on the plane before. Yeah, like a whole meal. Yeah. You just can't bring drinks mm-hmm. or liquids or nothing like that. I can't take this with me. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna get my little fix now, and I'll be good. Cause that. 
They're chicken a little. Uh, like I need to warm it up. Yeah, like put it in the air fryer. I don't have no air fryer. I got air fryer. I'm talking about you ain't eating at home. You want me to ship you some of these? No. You can get them from GF. Y'all don't even have a mm-hmm. GFS there. Mm-mm. Oh, this lunch is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we got the Detroit Coney Island in the place. All right, I want to do Song Association. Okay, let's get my little video. You want to do it on this? Because we got to start a new video. We got to start a new video? Mm -hmm. This is going to have to cut off You want to put it on your blog? Yeah, we can. You can put it on your blog. Okay. We can either ask my to do it or like you pick a word. I got to sing a song with that word and I'll pick a word for you. Okay. Yeah, we can do it right here. All right. All right, so we're going to have that in the vlog for tomorrow. <laughs> Song Association. Yeah, because I ain't know what to do. i just been chilling. I'm like, dang, I ain't got no footage. And then lately, I haven't been going out of the house for real. I ain't been doing nothing. Mm-mm. Just chilling because it's so much. It's cold, for one. It is cold, and ain't nothing really happening. Like, mm-hmm. ain't nobody really doing nothing. It's cold, for two. So. It's horrible. Oh, you going to eat a chip? I'm gonna take them chips home. Mm-mm. To Dallas. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put them in my suitcase. Cause I don't even want that. Yup. I'm full. All right, that's it. Yup, we about to get up out of here, y'all. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anyone and everyone. Let them know what we're doing over here. We constantly winning. We constantly growing. Anything to say? No, I might know you to say. Oh, <laughs> love, love you. Ya. Peace. Peace. Love you. Peace. <laughs> I literally make fun of him every time. I'll be on the phone with my sister. All right, love you. Peace. <laughs> every time. Fun <laughs> so oh, fact, Aria came out with that. Aria, Aria, Aria came out with that, like, when we was leaving. Mm-hmm. End of the video. She was like, love you. Peace. <laughs> every time I say love you, I hear your voice. Peace. <laughs> It's hilarious. All right, y'all. I love y'all so much. We'll see y'all in the next video.